Hey, what's going on, everybody? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, joined by Boy William Day. Today, we're going to be talking about Nightwing, issue 78. We're back from Future State. Mm-hmm. What'd you think, man? All right, so um, this was a nice story, and especially at the end when he gets the, the, the letter from Alfred, you know, the will, you know, Bob Gordon, she brings it to him. A cool, um, my issue with it is I know they had a certain relationship, but at the end of the day, the one person that felt like it was their role to be a father figure to somebody was Alfred to Bruce. I, you, I can't. I can't see nobody else being that person that going to get that letter except Bruce. And the problem is, and this is what happens when you bring so many characters in and you grow them up so fast and you still got Bruce Wayne being Bruce Wayne and he didn't age and Alfred didn't age. So here we go. No. If the letter's going to go to somebody, it's supposed to go to Bruce. It's supposed to knock Bruce back on his back and say, yo, this is how we rally the team. You need to be the father figure that I was to you. Yeah. That's the letter Bruce needs to get. Now, because of the way this is written, I get why Future State happened. Because now Dick got the money and Dick don't know what to do with it. This is why it's so chaotic. This is why Gotham and all these other places going crazy and all. This is why. Because when we talk about who is the character for Batman and in Gotham, it's Bruce Wayne. Bruce is the heir apparent. Bruce is the dude that's supposed to succeed and be that 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 person to help everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's been trying to grow this from uh, what? What do we want to call it? Uh, year the villain, all the way through. He's, he's supposed to be that guy, and now what we find is Alfred didn't even think he was gonna be that guy. So Alfred says, "Hey, I'm gonna give you billion dollars, and hey, now we don't want you run." Okay, cool, but you giving it to a dude. That had some issues. <laughs> okay. He was Rick. <laughs> okay. He, he didn't hate and had some stuff. Before my man died. So it's like, look, yo, whoa, whoa. But I get it. This is how it gets crazy. And I'm telling you right now, I see it. It's cool. The story was cool. It's just. I, you making me think that Alfred actually saw more in him than he saw in Bruce. And that's 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 my issue. That's my So issue. I think that's that's actually the right thing to do. And the reason why I say that is is because Bruce Wayne had had all the money the whole time and he ran his whole operation, really didn't change Gotham for the better in really any way. He still was dealing with the same people over and over again. Gotham never progressively changed. It always would get destroyed, some crazy stuff happened, Joker War happened. He was more obsessed with Batman and being Batman. He never wanted to give it up. He had so many times to pass it on to Dick Grayson and he never did. Now with that money, he's giving it to, to Dick Grayson to be Nightwing, to be uh, to step out of the shadows of Batman. Because everything that he has as Nightwing is because of Bruce Wayne. He even says, oh, I have the apartment because of Bruce's yeah. money. Now Bruce lost his money. Now what am I going to do? Now he's in control of his own life. He can get out of the Batman shadow and be who, his own person without any uh, connection to Bruce. I think this is a really great move for the character in doing that. Because now we see someone who isn't tied down like, like Bruce Wayne is. Bruce Wayne has mental problems on his own. Yeah, and so does Dick. Dick just had amnesia and he's back. He's not this... Dick Grayson is not this lunatic obsessed. He wants a life besides... Yes. No, he wants a life besides yes, Nightwing. Yes, but, but he doesn't want to be that full time. He That's why he doesn't want to be Batman. Because the world will always need Batman. That's why he doesn't become Batman full time. Okay. 
So, but I'm not. I'm not done. I'm not yeah, done. Okay, go ahead. So with that being said, he gets his money. Okay. Now he's able to do his own thing. If this book is written right, with the Zuko daughter becoming the mayor, this could be DC's Daredevil. How DC, how the how Marvel's Daredevil book is going on right now, and how good it is. That's how this book can be. If you write it the right way, and they keep at this pace of telling this evolution story of Dick Grayson becoming maybe as good as Batman or even better. This, this is where it's going to be. I'm telling you, jump on this Night Ring run. This is going to be, this might be DC's home run coming out of Future State. This was the best thing I've read from DC. Okay. So I'm going to say this. For you all that love Dead Devil, great run. Everybody's saying great run. Great run to the dude that got himself locked up. Okay. I'm saying this. I don't need my heroes being locked up. Especially when the world is crazy outside. You're already breaking the law. You're already vigilantes. There are going to be sacrifices. There are going to be people that are going to be, as we call them, casualties of war. It's going to happen. The deal is, hey, I feel bad about it, but I go back out there. What I don't do is say, hey, hey, even though I'm breaking the law, one person died, I need to be, I, need, I feel so bad, I need to go at it. I need to go to jail. No, 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 no. This, hey, great, great little story, great little story, but we talking about the man, Alfred. We talking about the man who knew there was problems going on before my boy lost his money. He knew he had to have a backup plan because Bruce didn't have a backup and he plan. Didn't. It's Dick Grayson. And if his backup plan is Dick Grayson, you're just hating. I can't believe you'll put over the Justice League Bendez run and all these other books, but you won't give this. I'm giving Dick. him a run. No. I'm, I'm saying, no. Hey. You want to be Nightwing, be Nightwing. That's fine. Yeah. But don't give me Bruce Wayne 2.0. He becomes a billionaire. I don't see him as a a Bruce Wayne 2.0. I see him as something totally different and better. I'm going to tell you this. Parents died. He still ain't got over it. I think he has. I think he. I think Nightwing has definitely got over it from a better perspective, and from a kid, absolutely, he's not like Bruce Wayne. How many times, when you read a Nightwing book, do we see that flashback? In every single Batman cartoon movie, you see the pearls fall, you see him wake up, ah, with the bat flying through the window all the time. You don't see that with Dick Grayson. You know what you see with Dick Grayson? Keep reading it. You know what you see with Dick Grayson? What's up? Why am I not looked at? In a better light by Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and he gives up on it, and that's why he leaves and goes to Bloodhaven. Wait a minute. But you continuously see him judging himself through that well, prism. That's, that's, his, that's his model. That's who he has to go off of. Okay, but who did Bruce have? Nobody. Okay, and that is the reason why... Bruce is also he, like a workaholic nut job who's obsessed with being Batman. Okay, okay, look, look. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, look. I'm just saying. Hey, I feel you. Hey, look, y'all. You want that? You you want that? Hey, look. I'm telling you, go get it. I'm telling are you, you gonna get keep, it. Are you going to keep reading it? No. Oh no. God. No. All right. Let's no. end it on that. Okay. <laughs> Great book. I loved it. I've been reading Nightwing. I stopped reading Nightwing when he lost his when he got amnesia. Yeah. I picked it back up once he got it back. You are just out of your mind. But Thea's not reading it. But hey, guys, let us know what you think of the, uh, the comment section. Give us that like. Give us that subscribe. And as always, thanks for checking us out. Peace.